Hey, what's up, YouTube, Instagram fans? Uh, right here is the second shoe of the Gamma Retro 13s. Um, had the first shoe on a previous video, so y'all check that out also. But on this video right here, I'm going to be a little more detailed and kind of show you how I actually customize this shoe. Um, I really like the shoe, as we know already, that Jordan released the Retro 11s and the Retro 12s. So I kind of wanted to improvise just a little bit, and I love being different. Uh, I love having things that nobody else has. Um, so I wanted to do this. This right here is actually for myself. And I wanted to customize um, this shoe. Uh, these are the He Got Games. And I'm actually doing uh, the Gamma Blue Retro 13s. Uh, I know a lot of people thinking, why are you doing the um, He Got Games? Which is a classy shoe and a great shoe, actually. But... Um, I have another one of those coming, so um, I decided to go ahead and do this in the colorway um, for us the red at the bottom already and the red Jordan man. It kind of fits um, how I want the shoe to look, and I'm kind of padding these after the actual retro 12s. Um, on those, you notice it's suede in the um, inside, and it has the red Jordan man, and the back has the red um, but um, hopefully this turned out just as good as the other one. The other one turned out really good. Um, uh, this is a really great shoe. Um, at first I thought about not doing it. But, you know, hey, I'm the type of person um, I take chances. And the only way that you're going to customize something is take a chance. You know, a lot of times people, they want to go get an old shoe and customize it. But, you know, sometimes you just got to kind of just take that chance. That's the only way that I got better by customizing and painting, by taking a chance and actually customizing. Um, you know, some shoes are a little harder to get, and this probably would be one of the ones, you know, uh, based on paying a lot of money to get the shoe again. But, you know, hey, I was like, hey, if I'm going to do something, um, I'm gonna do something for myself and I'm gonna take my time and um, I want to do this right so hey I took my time um, and here we go I'm gonna try to do this shoe so I hope you guys sit back and enjoy this video hey what's up y'all we about to do the very first step um, to customizing this shoe uh, I got my paint right here the gamma blue it's already mixed down um, so um, today we're actually using the airbrush application. I know a lot of people don't have an airbrush, an airbrush kit. Um, the only, the one reason why I'm using this is because the actual retro 13s have a lot of stuff going on as far as like the inside and the curve. So I want to make sure I'm able to spray at a light mist at probably about 40 psi to uh, ensure that it gets all in the cracks. Uh, so I won't have to. Um, go back over it. I'm really not a fan of um, going back over something. I like to pretty much do it the first time and just call it a day. That's just me. But you know, some people like to take their time and paint with a paintbrush, which I do sometimes, but this particular shoe, it needs uh, to be airbrushed to get a really, really fine job. Um, so uh, what we want to start on is making sure, you know, everything looks good for mask, masking, um, i done it already, so um, we're going to put the paint in the airbrush, and I want you guys to see um, how it goes, and maybe, you know, hopefully you can um, take this video, and hopefully I'm able to help someone and start customizing their own shoes. Here we go. Um, I'm not wearing a mask today only because I'm trying to um, explain to... Um, you how to customize. I would prefer that you wear a mask whether you're paint, painting with a paintbrush or spraying with an air, uh, airbrush gun or whatever. Um, use with an airbrush gun you're not going to get as many fumes or whatever. Very odorless. Uh, most of the paints are water-based paint but you know just to ensure that you know over a period of time chemicals could affect or sit in but um, I'm not going to wear it today but I will tell you to always wear a mask. And I do have my mask. All right, uh, first step, here we go. We're about to start doing this. Uh, using an airbrush gun, you wanna always make sure that um, you get your first spray out. Make sure you put up a barrier, but you see that, get that first spray out. Go ahead and let that first spray come out. And as you can see that blue right there, you see how light that is? All right. Um, another thing too, on, the, on this actual shoe, 
we actually have I'm actually doing three different materials I'm actually doing the leather I'm actually doing the actual rubber the pods on the retro 13s and I'm actually doing like this cloth it's like cloth it's not really suede but when you're doing these two you have to be really careful because you don't want it to look like it's blobbed on there you want to spray that really light and I will say you know when you're customizing something like this um, a dual action airbrush gun will really help that way um, you can uh, control how much comes out of the gun instead of just spraying all in one motion you can control how much comes out to get this these areas really precise you don't want to pile too much on the rubber because it could run or whatever so and you want to always spray at an angle and you don't want to you don't want to spray too close so check this out you see how it's really light really light coat You just want to take your time, don't get into no rush. You want to take your time. We're going to the pods at the bottom. We're going to the pod, really light coat. Stay far away as you can. You don't want to do too much. You want to take your time, spray real slowly, real gently. You want to ensure all areas are covered. What I usually do is do a few light coats and I'll let it dry and go back over it just so we won't be in a rush. Starting with the mesh. See how it's changing colors, but really light, really light coat. Really light. Start on the other side. This is just the first step. You just want to get it on that sort of bond. You want you don't want to spray too much at all on this first coat. Third coat. Wanted to make sure everything is great, good, sealed on there. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Really easy to miss something. to the pods, really light coat. You gotta be real careful when you get that part right there because it's uh, it still can stay white. So you gotta be really light, really light. You can see it's changing. I actually decided to uh, paint the actual uh, part where the laces go through, lace holes. 
kind of like a mist. Some more paint. Making a mess here. Almost done. Get the top of the tongue right here. All right, that's the second coat. I will do one more coat after this. Should be done. All right, here you go. Uh, that was the last step right there. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry for about um, maybe five to six hours. Um, but this is the final product of the very first shoe that I done. As you can see. How it turns out this is actually after the finisher is put on it kind of darkens but this is gives it the factory look after you put that um, acrylic finisher on um, like I said this shoe turned out really good hopefully this turns out the same um, but gamma retro 13s right here I um, also wanted to say you guys can check me out on my Instagram which is juju custom controllers um, to, um, if you ever wanted to get something done or send me anything, um, I also do custom uh, controllers, PS3, Xbox 360, um, Xbox One, PS4 also. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time on my next video. Peace.